Okay, wow. 11 hours. Holy shit, that felt like 11 hours. Um, I feel like I want to... I feel like I want to talk about Wrath Classic. Um, I'm so... I'm extremely tired, but, um... I think, I, I think I'd still like to say something about it. Um, it's really interesting uh, how much fun... Uh, this grind fest is um, I've played retail you know since since it was originally the OG game and it was uh, always an experience um, up until about I would say probably BFA it just wasn't fun anymore I don't even enjoy the questing um, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is fun um, I could stay up for another two hours but I'm not going to because I feel like it would be better to wake up fresh and play in the morning with a cup of coffee and um, and just be fresh with it and come into it in the daylight. Um, this is a special game for a lot of people. It's very close to my heart and um, being on for the launch and uh, being with all the excitement and the commotion on my server and uh, finding friends on the dock to group up with for quests. Um, I'll edit this video and make little segments to highlight uh, the experience tonight. Um, although most of it was in chat, um, I did have some audible kind of expressions of things that I loved and surprised me. Um, and even the things that I didn't love, like the, some of the quest RNG and um, you know some of the the, route, the routing and the pacing of the zones. The pacing was overall pretty good, honestly. Um, but like even the shortcomings that this experience had from 70 to 72 was so outshined by just you know how beautiful these zones are how much fun the music is the sense of urgency to find and hunt down Arthas you're really you're literally just on this hunt for Arthas and it's very cool um, we did a little bit of RP that was really fun each of our characters kind of had their own motives for being in Northrend and um, I was having so much fun getting gear and you know peeking into dungeons and um, you know, this, this experience really only comes around every now and then, and I hope Blizzard continues to do these re-releases because I think they're extremely valuable to the community, and, um, you know, the, the, the changes that Blizzard has made, these, uh, these adventuring packets that we all got tonight um, from completing quests, quests that would normally otherwise give just, you know, experience and no, no other reward. It, it's kind of nice to have um, healing potions as a rogue. It allows me to uh, to pull more, to get quests done faster um, than if I were to have to sit and eat after every pull. So that definitely helped with my timing. Um, and, you know, the flasks are, are, are a great and welcome addition to questing. Uh, I feel really bad for alchemists, but uh, you guys will be all right. You've got uh, endgame flasks to work towards anyway. Um, and, you know, uh, they were a little excessive, the adventurer packs. Obviously, I got a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, but it was just as easy to sell that stuff off for some easy gold, some easy silver. Blizzard could have very easily made that stuff not even vendor, um, but they did, and it was good. I've made, uh, I've made like 700 gold tonight, um, and I've got more coming in the mail. We'll see tomorrow uh, from the auction house, but everything's good in the world of Azeroth right now. You know, I'm glad I came back to WoW. I'm glad I'm reliving this experience. Um, and I'm looking forward to so much. I'm looking forward to, you know, the rest of the dungeons. I'm looking forward to Naxxramas on the 11th of my guild. Um, it's just, there's so much to look forward to in this little part of my life. Um, especially making friends in this game like I have and, uh, uh, getting the opportunity to see these friendships develop as we all root each other on and there's just so much positivity uh, in the community right now and it really goes a long way so uh, major props to Blizzard the launch itself was seamless the technology was uh, you know it was there you know you guys always say it's a server it's a technological issue and that's exactly what it is and um, you guys had a lot of people playing this game tonight. I know there were 12-hour queues on Fairlina, and uh, I never experienced an interruption once. Um, 
from my side and it was just a smooth seamless experience i i didn't have any downtime except to go get some snacks like um, i never got kicked out of the game once at all tonight i didn't really even have any bad lag except for like a couple minutes after i got to northrend and that was it it was just some input lag um but other than that you know like i said very solid a great overall experience um if you're new to wow um, and you want to check this out if you're on retail waiting for Dragonflight to pop out This is definitely where you want to be right now. There's so much to do leveling professions um, At gathering mats selling them on the auction house mats are going for crazy prices right now as you may have seen in this VOD um, and Just the the gameplay is the funnest it's been in years um, I don't even think retail can compare to how fun it is to play my class right now and It's only gonna get funner. So uh, with that said, that's my little synopsis. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you come back. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe on YouTube, and follow me on Twitch. My Twitch is uh, twitch.tv uh, forward slash the uh, ye dead ye tarnished. Um, the same goes for YouTube as well. Um, and I could really use the support in the search algorithms with a like and a subs and a share, anything you can do. Um, means a lot. This has been a lot of fun. I don't get a lot of viewers on my channel, but I like making videos. So I hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you tomorrow for some dungeons and questing. Have a good night.